What we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about the other battery interrupter. It's our 641. This is for C and D cell batteries. One thing I wanna point out, this is a little bit different than the 640. It's not a copper disc. It's actually like almost like a computer circuit board. Um, actually, that's what it is. It's a circuit board. On one side, you have a silver metal plate, and on the other side is a small solder a ball, like a solder ball with a couple of little um, metal connectors. This one is a little different. On the uh, 640s, the sides are the same, so it doesn't matter which way you put it into the battery compartment. With the 641s, this little bump, you'll want to place towards the back of the battery, on the negative side of the battery and your silver side put in the battery contact in the compartment, in the battery compartment. So I'm going to show you that right now so you understand what I'm talking about. This we have a portable boom box, is a battery powered boom box. So um, we'll open up the battery compartment and we're going to start. This has a lot of uh, batteries in it but like I said you only need one interrupter for the device. And we're Start here from the back. Take a couple of batteries out with these big batteries. You need some. You need to push these in, and the springs sometimes give you a little bit of resistance. So, metal side towards the spring, and the little bump towards the battery. So I place my battery in there and get myself positioned. Then you can put your other finger on there and give you hold a little tension on that. Slide these batteries down, and then push. Like I said, with these big batteries, they do have a lot of power, the spring, so you want to make sure you... Now we're in there secure, make sure everything's seated. Again, like I said, some battery compartments you may have to cut a notch out, but you know, do test. <clears throat> do test the device first before you start cutting a little notch out. Okay, so now I have my interrupter in place. Now, this will be fine for AM, FM, radio, cassette, with an analog tuner, which is a, the old roll style tuners. What you wouldn't be able to adapt is the CD. If you had a boom box that has a CD function on it, you can do the AM, FM radio and the cassette because those are mechanical, but the CD player would not work because of the electronics. Um, so that, you know, you, you, you can definitely use a boom box with that on there, but you're not gonna get that function control. And then plug in your switch into the jack coming out of the interrupter. As long as I hold my switch, you know, the radio is going to stay up. So, there you go. And it works, it works really well. Now this is another, this is another great, you know, home adaption where a 605 would really come in handy. If you want to give this, not just for cause and effect use, uh, maybe for somebody actually just to sit there and enjoy listening to the radio. Use your 605 um, switch modifier the same way as we did before. Cable from the switch modifier into your device jack. Plug the other end of this cable into the into the battery interrupter jack coming out of the device. Then plug your switch cable into your switch jack noted on the inter on the uh, 605. Turn your 605 on, and I'm going to use it in the latch mode. So. Your radio comes on, it stays on, which is great. Hit the switch again, shuts it off. 